Hi, so today I'll be discussing Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Science. Uh, spoiler alert, they actually don't discover the secrets of the universe, they actually discover stuff about themselves. So the protagonists uh, are Aristotle and Dante, obviously from the story. Uh, both of them are Mexican-American males. Um, they're around 16, 15 when they first meet. Um, and between them, this friendship forms just because of common culture, but also they just click as people. And from there, they just get to know each other. And eventually they discover that, hey, I might actually love you. Um, and so it, this book explores that friendship to love story. And unfortunately, this book has been banned across public school systems uh, for middle high school students. And it's unfortunate because these days, a lot of the books that are being banned are actually by Latinx and African American authors, which is a really weird thing to be happening because we want to encourage people in those communities to read because reading is very fundamental to opening your mind and to acquiring knowledge so it's unfortunate that these type of stories especially a gay teen love story uh with teen people of color it's not being promoted or it's being banned by these white community members who have control over these systemic systems of list of what books should be banned just because they themselves have never read it or they themselves don't appreciate the language that's being used in these books. Um, so I would definitely give it a read. It's, I think, unfortunately that for me, this book didn't exist when I was a teen because I could have really used a type of love story where I'm shown a teen who is othered, who is coming of age, who is queer, uh, being shown that he can love, being shown that he can receive love from other people, from his family, from a stranger, from someone that makes him feel seen, because I could have used that for you know my self-esteem, obviously, but just in general. And so that's what I really love about the story that it doesn't uh, it doesn't end in a bad way. It just shows me that love is possible for gay men and gay teens. Um, and I also really love that Benjamin Science was actually a poet before. So in every chapter that he does, he actually puts a poetry quote before that that encapsulates the whole chapter for you. And so in the first one, he writes, uh, I didn't know that I was living for someone else. And so I think in those small things, we can all relate to that because we all have those moments where we think to ourselves, am I living my life for someone else or am I living it authentically for myself? Um, and I, I think that's a big question to ask a lot of teens to read in this book. So I really think this book was actually more geared towards adults, uh, but that's a whole different thing. And so I definitely think you should all read it. Like I said, get it at your local Barnes & Noble store, get it wherever you want, the public library. Uh, and, uh, actually, another thing, this is actually getting turned into a movie. Um, and for the longest time when I was reading it, I was thinking, oh my God, this book needs to be a movie. Uh, so Eva Longoria is producing it. Um, Ur Urgencio um, Derbez is actually also in the movie and they already kind of um, have their casting allegedly uh, but a lot of the cast members unfortunately look like they're white uh, which you know in this book it makes it clear that they are of dark Mexican complexion um, so you know people if you see this video can we all just tell them to please cast people who actually look dark skin you know voila um, but anyway I digress so make sure to get this book it's really amazing all right bye